Welcome to this tutorial video looking at seasonal indices. Today we'll be looking at a particular exam question from the VCAA paper of 2015. So here's our question. And it states the quarterly seasonal indices for tractor sales for a supplier are displayed in Table 1. So here's our Table 1. So you can see in the first quarter there's a seasonal index of 1.6. Sales are higher than the average of the year in the first quarter. Second quarter uh, we've got a seasonal index of 0 0.6. So Tractor sales are below average for the year in the second quarter. Third quarter, 0.7, below average. And fourth quarter, 1.1, slightly above average. Next, we have the quarterly tractor sales for the year 2004 uh, displayed in Table 2. So for the first quarter, there were 2,800 tractors sold. In the second quarter, 1,032 tractors sold. Third quarter, 875 tractors sold. And in the fourth quarter, 759 tractors sold. The sale data in Table 2 is to be de-seasonalized before a least squared regression line is fitted. And we have to say which of these equations is correct for the least squared regression line for the de-seasonalized data. So let's have a look at this in a calculator. I've preloaded our data, so we have a time code, we have the actual sales, we have the index for each quarter. Next we need to calculate the de-seasonalized data. So all we're doing is taking actual data in B1 and we're dividing it by the seasonal index in C1. And so when I take 2800 and divide it by 1.6, I get a de-seasonalized sales for the first particular quarter of 1750. Now I can drag that down and carry that through for the remaining three quarters. So when I take 1032 sales and divide it by an index of 0.6, effectively when you divide by a fraction or a decimal less than one, it's going to go up, so it increases to 1720. 875 divided by 0 0.7 is 1250. The 759 divided by 1.1 drops it down to 690. So this shows our time code, our actual sales, a seasonal index, and our de-seasonalized data. Next, if we choose, we can graph that data. So I'm going to construct a graph. First of all, I'm going to look at the actual data against our time code. Now if I just go back for a second, it was time. Actual data versus time. So there's our four points. I could right click and add a Y variable and add in my de-seasonalized data. You can see that that smoothed out some of the variation, some of the fluctuation. And then of course I can connect using dots as well. Let's remove one of those Y variables and we just are interested in, whoops, rather, left click, interested in the de-seasonalized data. Okay, now I'm going to menu, analyze, regression line in the format of Y equals A plus BX. So the relationship we have here is that Y, the de-seasonalized tractor sales, is equal to 2265 take 365 times X the time code or the number of quarters. So 2265 take 365 times X. Let's have a look back at our options that we had. So I think we had as our first variable, our A, it was from memory a 2265. So this is not going to be right, the 0.32 is not good, option A is gone. 370 is not good, option B is gone. C, 910 is not good, option C is gone. That leaves us with, and this is closest to, 2300 or 2300 for D and E. Both of those, 2300, are rounded up or a very close version of 2265. The next point we had was take 365 times the time code. Take 370, that's close, or take 0.32, that's not close. So option D is our correct answer. Looking back at our table here, it's our list of spreadsheets. It's worth noting how we set up this time, the actual data, the index, and how we use a division, a cell equation of minus, sorry, of B1 divided by C1 for this particular actual sales and to change into deseasonalized. Um, in the second quarter, of course, that was B2, the actual value, divided by C2, the index for the second quarter. 
and the third was B3 divided by the index for the third quarter and B4 the index for the fourth quarter. Look, I hope this has helped people understand how to use your TI Inspire calculator to calculate deseasonalized data using these type of cell references and also how to plot data, find the linear regression line for the deseasonalized data. Again, thanks for watching.